Greetings, everybody. I'm Dave Matuzic. I'm a solutions consultant here at Trimec, and I'm going to talk to you today about SWOT. Now, one of the misconceptions about SWOT that I run into a lot is that it only handles parts that are completely made out of sheet good or with a minimum amount of hardwood on them. And I'm actually going to design a piece in SWOT using just hardwoods. And you can see here that I actually drew this cabriole leg, and we're going to build a Queen Anne style coffee table. Now, I drew this completely in SOLIDWORKS using standard SOLIDWORKS drawing techniques. Um, cuts, extrudes, fillets, standard things. And it's a standard part right now. I haven't done anything in SWOOD to it yet. But what I'm going to do is apply my material to it, and then I'll be able to use SWOOD to insert my uh, table aprons, my top, my molding, or whatever profile I, profiles I want, and my connectors all in one go and fairly easily and fairly quickly. So let's go to SWOOD right now and I'm going to go to my material library and I'm just going to grab this solid mahogany I have and drag it right onto my piece. And I've just applied my material to this leg. And if I do one quick check here and edit, I can make sure that I have my grain direction oriented correctly and it is, in this case, running vertically. And I'm going to save my file. And I'm just going to create a standard SOLIDWORKS assembly and drop some other components in that I've made in advance in SWOOD. So I'm just going to create an assembly. Insert my leg. And then in my boards library, or panels library, I have my table aprons that I want to use. So I'm just going to drag that right in there. And I'll just use standard SOLIDWORKS assembly techniques to make things together. Now, I'm going to go through this assembly here, and I'll create the base here, and then I'll, we'll uh, rejoin me in a couple minutes, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to insert my joinery. Okay, so there's the base of our coffee table completed, just using standard SOLIDWORKS uh, assembly tools. And next, I'm going to insert my joinery. So I'm going to go here to my S-Wood design and insert components between my two pieces here. So I'm going to pick where I want to put my joinery in. So those are the areas there I'm going to put joinery in. And I'm going to do a traditional mortise and tenon. So I'm going to come in here and grab my traditional mortise and tenon joint. And then I can modify this as I see fit here. So for example, the length of my tenon, I'll make an inch. And then the length of my tenon, I'm going to make two inches. So there we go. There is my mortise and tenon joinery done. And just to show you that it's actually there, I'm just going to hide this component very quickly. And you can see my tenons. If I hide this, you can see my mortises. So my joinery at this point for this part of the table is done. So the next thing I'm going to do is the same idea I did before, is I'm going to grab a generic oval top I've created, drop it into my assembly, and then I'll, again I'll use standard assembly tools to align that. All right, so I have my top aligned in my assembly, but you notice it's too small. And one of the great things about SWOOD in dropping the top in from the panel that I already created is it's editable. So I'm going to edit my panel. And I'm just going to tell it here that the overall length of my part here is 40 inches and my width is 30. And you can see that it updated my and it'll form me automatically, and I'm just going to swap my grain around so it's running the lengthwise of the table. 
and then I'm going to hit OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a molding along the edge here. And just because a very plain <clears throat> um, edge would look kind of boring there. So I'm going to go to my um, profiles library. And I have a couple of shaper cutters that I brought in. I'm going to just drop this bead right up here and change my work, my offset here, my Z offset to match the center of my panel. And there we go, there's my molding inserted on that edge. So there we go, that's a very quick way to create a solid wood part in Swood Design. Very quickly, it took me about under 15 minutes to uh, draw this completely, minus drawing the cabriole leg, which was a uh, a um, little more complex, but the actual assembly of putting everything together, quick, easy, and I'm ready to go and um, make this piece now. So if you have any questions on SWOOD, please give us a call. And again, my name is Dave Matuzic. I'm a solutions consultant here. Thanks, everybody.